In an effort to help ease overcrowding and curb the spread of COVID-19 in jails, the governor has commuted the sentences of 352 inmates. As LEX 18's Mike Valenti reports, this comes as the cries for help from one jail grow louder. The governor says these additional 352 inmates who will be released from jail meet the same criteria. They committed nonviolent, non sex related crimes. They are nearing the end of their sentences and they are medically vulnerable. It isn't uh, something that we take lightly, uh, but we know that uh, this uh, virus can get in these facilities. And we're taking similar actions that we see governors uh, all over the United States doing. But there's one facility in Kentucky that lately has garnered more attention than others. Green River Correctional Complex, which has seen an outbreak of coronavirus. Two people have now died at the facility. There have been 60 confirmed cases. 40 of them are inmates. There are over 900 inmates in Green River Correctional Complex. That is less than 4% positive, and the Justice and Public Safety Cabinet is committed to keeping those numbers low. But the families of inmates fear without some new measures, that number will continue to grow. We've been contacted by several wives and family members who have alleged the safety of their loved ones has not been top priority. Today, the Secretary of the Justice and Public Safety Cabinet said they've implemented a two-step protocol, extensive sanitation and controlled containment, a much different picture than the ones some inmates paint. At one point in the briefing, Governor Andy Bashir was asked if the state's response has been adequate. Anywhere where there is uh, a major outbreak, I'm going to want more done. And I don't think I'm ever going to feel like enough has been done. But we're going to take more steps and we're going to continue um, to, to take steps. And one of those steps announced today is that every inmate and staff member in Green River will now be tested for the coronavirus. In Frankfurt, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.